Almost nine years ago, atong sunam niaging nine si nine si saya noipi katungig namin labay. The Lord told us to come here and have a feeding program. Oh, nagigno na ginoo ni ginong Jesus ni dat na dati ni mami nerd nga muanhi domidari o mag magbuhat alin feeding program. And what is the one thing? That we talked about nine years ago. Ugon sa man ako sa kabutang, masigil na to pagahisgutan sulod sa noipi katuig mga bata. Mami Beth said what? Pray. Pray and ask Jesus. 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 Nine years later, he's still providing your food. Sulod sa noy ni katuig, na ihap na makau ni tunay kanta. Every Saturday. Kada Sabado. But we can always come to Jesus. Pero makaduol yun tagi hapon ni ginong Jesus. And we can always ask His forgiveness. Ug makapangayo tao pasaydo ni ginong Jesus. And He always walks beside us. O permitting dalakaw uban nato si Ginong Jesus. Because His Word says that He knows everything about every one of us. Kay sa bulo ni Ginong Jesus, ni anak siya, makailas siya, matagusa ka nato. Sorry, Akista! Akista! Ikaw, kaya kaya sila! Just be careful, it's very, very hot.
This is our Bible Study Center here in this barangay. <laughs> yes, one of our Bible Study Center. So the outreach leader here is the mother of Lila. He is the outreach leader. Okay. Yeah, she 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 go here once a week to gather the people here to have Bible study, especially in the children. Wow. Yeah, every Saturday. How old is he? Uh, I think Nana Indina is 80 plus. I think he's 83. pinulungan dili ta kasabot pero kato nga kanta nag nagdaig siya sa Ginoo amen dili kita kasabot pero sa din lang but before that i will ask the children to sing dali mga bata
be here. Hindi kayo na nag-aagot sa inyong dapit. You Filipinians are so beautiful people. You are so wapko. Amen. Um, I'm going to say a little bit about Jesus today and His kingdom. Now Jesus has uh, changed my life. In, uh, in Norway, where we are coming from, I used to be a drug addict. No, no, in no way. And I used needles. Now, if you have, if you would see the person I was before compared to the person who I am today, you wouldn't have believed that that is the same person. You see, when Jesus saves us, that is not just a change of label. But that is something which transforms you. It is not enough just to receive Jesus as your Savior. He has to be Lord in your life. And if He is Lord, then you will have an inner drive to obey Him. Salvation is a life where we follow Jesus until we die. Those of you who want to receive Jesus, can stand up. And when you are standing up, we will lead you in a prayer where you can receive Jesus as your Savior. So if you see that you need Jesus, Stand up and please come forward also. We will also be praying for those of you who need healing. But first, we pray for those of you who need salvation. So, please pray after me. Lord Jesus Christ. I believe that you are the Son of God. That you died for me at the cross. That you were resurrected for my sake. God, I am a sinner. And I repent this afternoon. 
o ako magkinursul karong hapon. And I'm turning away from my sin. Akong talikdan ang akong sala. And I'm turning to you, Lord. Ugmatubang ko ni mo ginoo. Forgive me, God. Kasaylo ako o Dios. And receive me as your child. Ugdawatang ko inon ng imong anak. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. She had a star on her eyes. She is completely healed. She was deaf on one ear and she is completely healed now. Praise God.
Hallelujah, Lord. Salamat. Shit, yalalalalala. Baba, baba, shit, yalalalala.